What's up guys, Econ John here. In this video, we're gonna derive the Marshallian demands for a consumer that has perfect substitutes as their preferences. Let's go. So consider the consumer with the following utility function. What are the Marshallian demands for a consumer with such preferences? So recall that the indifference curves for a consumer with perfect substitutes are straight lines. In this case, corner solutions are the only consideration for unique solutions to this uh, problem. To solve for our demands for perfect substitutes, we must solve for each good as if it were the one that yielded the most utility overall. If P1 is less than P2 in this case, good one is our best option and our consumer would spend all of its income on X1. Mathematically from the budget constraint, we know that M is equal to P1 X1 plus P2 X2. However, X1 is utility maximizing and we spend all of our money on X1 and our spending on X2 is zero. It follows that our budget constraint really practically is M is equal to P1 X1, right? And just doing a little bit of algebra, we find that the demand in this case is M all over P1 for good X1. This is derived exclusively based on the assumption that X1 is cheaper than good X2. More generally, we can write our Marshallian demands for these two goods in a little bit more of a piecewise manner, where if P1 is uh, less than P2, right, our Marshallian demand for good one would be M all over P. If they're equivalent to each other, it, it's there's no real, uh, direct answer could be lie on the continuum spending all their money on that good and or and all of their money on it and if it is more expensive then it's going to be zero and likewise is going to be said for good too so uh that's how you find the marshallian demands for a case with perfect substitutes i'll see you in the next video